today we will discuss about IJSO which is International Junior Science Olympiad. Just like Olympics, as you all know that Olympics are held on international level and the participants from around the world come there to represent their country. So same way, this Olympiad is also organized on an international level. So basically, this is a very much prestigious and a well recognized Olympiad. And the best thing about this Olympiad is that it is providing opportunities to the students of 9th or 10th class. Uh, I guess this is the only Olympiad which is providing opportunity to such young children. Basically, IJSO has been established in order to mark the significance of the natural sciences in the general education of young children in all aspects of their lives. So, IJSO tests the basic concepts of students in subject of science and this is not particularly just limited to physics, chemistry and biology. As we will discuss the pattern of this exam, you will just get this thing more clear in your head. Now, coming on the pattern. So, first we will discuss about the number of papers. So, the competition is divided into three papers and those three papers are MCQ, Practical, and theory and all these three papers are conducted over three different days. Now the second thing that we will talk about is the duration. So the time allotted to each paper is around three to four hours. Now the next thing is medium. So the language of the exam is English and each leader is allowed to translate the paper into their own languages. So each country can choose either English or their own language. So here we can just mark one more point that the language is no barrier in this particular exam. The next thing is number of questions. So you get total 30 questions, 10 each from physics, chemistry, and biology. Now the marking scheme. So guys, one mark is given for each right answer in MCQ and 0 0.25 marks are deducted for a wrong answer. Now we will talk about the eligibility criteria for this Olympiad. So guys, the first thing is the age limit. So, the students who are above the age of 15 years are not allowed to participate. Now, the next important thing under eligibility is the citizenship. So, the candidate must hold a valid passport of the respective country or must be in the education system of that country for at least one academic year. Now, the another procedures that you need to remember are as follows. A normal team consists of six members and three leaders. If a normal team cannot be fulfilled, a minimum team of three members and one team leader is also allowed to participate in IJSO. Teams consisting of less than three members do not qualify for the team awards. So these are just the few checkpoints that you need to consider. The other one is participants are not allowed to use their own collection of formula from mathematics, chemistry, physics, etc. during the competition. The next one, each participating country that has either participated with a team or sent an observer to the IJSO in one of the previous two years is invited to send a delegation of six students and three team 
leaders so that's it for the eligibility criteria now the next very important thing that you need to consider is the syllabus for ijso so guys for the syllabus you can just uh, download the pdf which is given below in the description box and you can just go through it very thoroughly so the other thing comes is the application fees so it is dollar 800 for each team the next very important thing that i need to tell you is about how an indian student can participate in ijso so my dear students it is not an easy task you really need to go through a very systematic process according to which you are chosen to represent your country India at international level in junior science olympiad so here I'll just tell you the whole process through which you get selected so my dear students the selection process for IJSO in India consists of five stages coming on first stage it is national standard examination in junior science which is nsejs so nsejs is the first step towards your selection and nsejs is organized by the indian association of physics teachers and finally top 300 students qualify for the next round now coming on stage two so it is indian national junior science olympiad which is injso so injso is organized by h b c s e at about 15 centers in the country syllabus is similar to nse js only and top 35 students make up to the next round now coming on stage 3 so it is orientation come selection camp which is OCSC in junior science and OCSC in junior science will be organized by HBCSC again for 2 to 3 weeks and only the students selected from the merit list of stage 2 that is INJSO are eligible for this. There will be no other criteria or provision for the selection or there is no direct way of entering into stage 3. You have to go through all the stages only then you can make up till the last stage. Now coming on stage 4. So it is pre-departure training camp which we call P d t for ijso the selected six member students team will undergo a rigorous training program at h b c s e in theory and experiment so during this they literally prepare you for the upcoming exam that you need to face at the international level the top six students in the merit list are special merit awardees who will be given rupees 5000 worth of books and cash so it is a kind of supplement for you now finally the stage five which is the dead end that is the participation in international science olympiad international junior science olympiad that is ijso so guys a uh, 12 student uh, member team that is two six member teams and three teacher leaders will constitute the delegation to represent india at the international junior science olympiad and congratulations you will earn the recognition at the international level that's it for ijso now the another important fact for you guys is that the 2022 ijso which is the 19th 
in its series will be conducted in Ukraine. So if you are preparing for it, then just tie up your laces and all the best.